Well, good evening, fellas. I haven't done a video like this in a very long time. It feels weird to be like out of the office and like actually out doing something. It's been months since I've done this, but over here with Levi. And tonight we're gonna be doing some frog gigging and catching. We got fishing poles and we got a frog gig. And hopefully we can both fill our limits of eight frogs, which I think the last time I went frog gigging, the limit was 15, so that kind of caught me off guard. But it's gonna be a fun night. I hear frogs chirping, so I've got a good feeling about tonight. And uh, I'm excited to sink a gig into the back of a frog and see how Levi does his fishing pole thing. He told me to bring a fishing pole and catch him with that. I've only done that a couple of times, but we'll see how it goes tonight and hopefully we can get some frogs. So we're, we're at a pond that Levi and I fished um, back in like, what was it, April? Yeah. Some, like April? Dur when we were, yeah. Yeah, when I was on During furlough. An excursion for turkeys, yeah. Turkeys and mushrooms, mushrooms yeah. yeah, that's why we're out here. But we, we did some fishing out here and this pond is extremely shallow. So I've got high hopes for this pond and I think it's gonna produce at least eight frogs. Okay, switch over to the little camera here. We've got Levi with the fishing pole. I've got my frog gig. I gotta watch where I'm going, but chances are pretty good that we'll find a frog here. So yeah, Levi's over here with the spotlight. Yeah. Trying to find him. I think I see one over there. Yeah, there's one right there. And is there anything over here? I already heard one jump in whenever I got a little closer a few minutes ago. But... So if you guys have never frog gigged before, what you gotta do is use a light to blind them. And then you stab them or you can catch them by hand or hook them they'll bite your hook or however you want to do it but um, flashlights are very important here let's uh let's see if we can sneak around here and get this one first that we see over there yeah maybe go up maybe on the dam here yeah. you gonna try and catch them or gig them what do you want to do uh, let's try and catch this one with the pole first get on All right. the board let's see what we can do here well there's our first frog here not a big one, we gotta keep looking. For those people that have never done this, uh, growing up we used to always use a, uh, we'd use a little treble hook, and I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but um, this is a small little treble hook that I got, and uh, I took some little crappie jigs and uh, pinched off the, the heads of them and put them on there. And frogs will bite at uh, red colored things, is what we found. Um, with my grandpa, we would always put right above the where we tied on the hook or the um, whatever we were using, we'd always put like a couple of little red beads and they'd bite at that. But I prefer to put it down here and, uh, and then they generally bite at that or you just put it up underneath their chin and uh, then hook them. And I always like to use a little, just a little uh, weight on there so that uh, gives you a little bit of a... Uh, you know, just a little resistance on there. Hand. Oh, see it right there? Oh, he bit it and then he let go. Oh, got him. <laughs> you got him. He bit it. It's a nice frog. Just catching him like a fish. Yep. And you see. If, if they could see that, the first time that he tried to bite it, then he took it out with his with his hand, and uh, it's in his mouth right there. So now the hard part is just get it out of him. Not a bad one to start out. Yeah, there's some nice little frog legs there. Well, frog number, ow, I just stabbed myself with a frog gig. Frog number one is in the bag, and uh, good way to start it out. We've seen a lot of little guys, but not very many big ones. That was the first one, big one we found. And we got him with the old fishing pole trick. Up next, I think we're gonna try and gig him and uh, see if we can do it. There might be another one here close. Yeah, we're in a pretty decent spot here, nice and shallow. I've got a feeling there's another frog around here somewhere. Just gotta look carefully and hopefully we'll find one. We're gonna see if Josh, we just, we just got, a, we got a nice one right here. We're gonna see if Josh can uh, get this, get his first, his first one, so. Let me zoom in a little bit, so... Not a solid hit, but I got him. You get him? Oh, there's another nice one, too. Barely got him. 
Just barely. That was a good one though. Yeah, that's the nicest one we've seen so far. Yeah, it's bigger than yours. What are you saying? I'm saying we didn't make it very far, but <laughs> we've got two frogs now. I miss this. I love frog gigging. Yeah, if we can get them up on the bank like that, where they're up on dry ground where we can see them, it'll make it a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, dude. Dang. I was just getting ready to say. Dang it. Here's a good one. Oh, that's a Levi's going in with the fishing pole. Got him. There he is. Sweet. Number three for today. That's a pretty decent one. Yeah. Uh, little fishing pole tricks doing it. Let's take yeah. a look at him. Yeah, that's a decent little frog right there. Put it right underneath his chin and then pull up. Got him. Don't got him. He's right here, he's right here. Give me the gig. See him right there? Right underneath your thing. Right there. Got, Got him. Good. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's a big old bullfrog. Woo! That's a good one right there. Put up a fight. You gotta chase him around for a while. Thought I could get him with the fishing pole and that turned out to not be true. Well, spot number one, we got four frogs. We're gonna head over to spot number two. There was, there was a bunch of just really tiny frogs in this pond. So we were lucky to find the few big ones that we had. So we played the game and this pond did not produce like I wanted it to. I said eight, we got four, so 50%. But well, it's snack time. We've got a crap load of Dots pretzels. I haven't tried these Southwest ones yet, which I'm really curious how they taste. These are like my favorite duck blind snack during duck season. Like we bring a bag like this one, we got the big bag, big bag too, but we bring a bag like this and just pass around the blind and it's usually gone by the end of the hunt. They're not like a normal pretzel. They're like... Yeah, they're, they're more of a, they're a seasoned pretzel. So they're not just what you buy at the store. I mean, they're just not your typical average pretzel. These have really good flavoring. They're addictive. Yeah, I mean... You open the bag and it's half gone by the time yeah. you put it away. So if you guys haven't tried these out, go check out Dots. They're found in a lot of grocery stores. I think Menard sells them too. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description of the, the Dots website if you guys want to go check them out there. But they are the best duck blind snack. Now, hold on a second. I got this giant light thing on here. Let me try these Southwest ones real quick. Gotta, gotta open the package. I'm gonna, Whoa. I'm gonna open up one of the uh, originals. You got the original one. So this is what they look like. This one's kind of crushed. <laughs> I like the Southwest ones. Yeah. They kind of taste like, um, just a really flattering camera angle, I know. Um, yeah, it tastes like the regular dots, but they got like a. They're not. They're not spicy though. They're, no, they're, it's they like just... a like. Oh, they taste kind of like um. Oh, like a. If I can get it up. Oh, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> they taste like the um, hot and spicy Cheez Its. Yeah, like a like a Tabasco type. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. To that's, me, to me, because I've been eating a lot of those. That's what that tastes I like. I was thinking like a Tabasco mixed with like a like a white cheddar or like a cheddar uh -huh. flavor. That's kind of what I get out of those. But definitely, but these are way better than Cheez Its, if you ask me. I love dots. Um, so, let's go to the next pond. See yeah. if we can get some problems. Okay, spot number two looks like it's gonna be a little bit nicer to us than spot number one. We had like a million stick tights on our legs and our pants and stuff, so this will be a nice break from that. This is kind of like a little. It's just it's just a little pond that's, that's yeah. kept up. Yeah, I mean, it's just, much, it's, it's just a, a pond that's kept up. 
So we're, we're just at like a little mowed pond area that not a lot of tall grass. Hopefully there's a lot of exposed bank. We're gonna catch those frogs on the bank and give them the old one-two punch. There he is right there. Hold on, don't move. Where? He's, you can't, I don't know if you can get him with that. Here, hold on, I'll get him. I think you're gonna have to use a pole. He's right. Uh, hold your, okay, so stick your, stick your light. Uh, can you see right down there? Oh, yep. oh God. Got him. Got him. All right, Levi, let's see if you can do it. Should have gigged him. Yeah, he's... He got you all hung up. I did. Son of a frog, I caught a cattail. <laughs> well, the one time I wasn't recording, Levi, I finally caught a frog in the bucket. But he's been on the struggle bus lately, the past few tries. He hasn't been able to get them to stay on the hook and they come off and jump away. So, but we finally got him one. So. Plugging along, we got plenty more pond to explore. Hopefully we can get, I don't know, four more, hopefully. Yeah, it's hard to say what's gonna happen, but, you know, we're seeing a lot of really little frogs, but nothing that's big enough to take home. <laughs> that's a good frog. That's a real nice one. Look at the size of him. Oh, let's get close up on that. He's a little he's a little dirty, he's been playing in the mud. It's about time we find a good one. There's been so many little ones. Yeah, we just one just jumped in that we didn't get a shot at right. Yeah. Right back there. Hopefully this last stretch we get a few more. Got him. Well, we gave it our all tonight and uh, we ended up with just a few frogs in the bucket. Not quite a two man limit, but uh, still not a bad night out frog gigging. I haven't been frog gigging in like four years, so I've been wanting to go for a long time. Here's the frogs we got. You know, there's a few in there, but nonetheless, it's a fun time being out. Enjoying a nice hot muggy buggy evening getting ready for the teal season grind I guess But uh, if you guys like these frog gigging videos, please be sure to let me know I'd love to go again and maybe try a few different spots and hopefully get some more frogs than we did tonight, but It's fun fishing pole. It worked. Okay. Yeah, I think we, it, it was, a different hook a different hook would probably help the frogs kept jumping off so it made it fun to catch them, but we didn't get to put them in the basket. The gig worked pretty good. I haven't done it in a long time, and I forgot how hard their backs are. So, got to keep that in mind. But if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do that. And I will catch you guys on the next video.